So the new in 2024, the Air Force plans autonomous flight tests for drone wingmen. The Air Force plans to create a fleet of drone wingmen to fly alongside piloted fighter jets will accelerate in 2024. Uh, it calls collaborative combat aircraft is what a CCA is, by the way, are intended oh, to fly alongside Fat Amy and the NGAD, <clears throat> uh, which is the next gen air dominance platform. Uh, the service wants to be able to perform a variety of missions, include striking targets, conducting surveillance, jamming signals, and even acting as decoys. Hell yes. I love all of that. Uh, they've been talking about a thousand CCAs for planning. But Air Force Secretary Frank Kendall in November said the fleet will likely end up being larger than that. So the proposed budget for 2024 is $50 million to test autonomous software on F-16 Project Venom. Uh, what, is, what is with the acronyms? Viper Experimentation. Oh, wait, they're calling it the Viper. I'm going to get all these hate comments because I always call the F-16 the Viper. We'll look at here. Viper Experimentation and Next Generation Operations Model would load autonomous code into six F-16s It'd be flown by humans for takeoff and on to an in-air experimentation zone where the self-flying software would take over. They hope these experiments will show whether autonomous flight as envisioned by the CCA can bring intended benefits. I wonder if the... Dude, you remember back uh, a couple years ago where we did the the fight for honor mm -hmm. and it was the um, AI? Yes. I yeah, wonder he if beat, that's involved. <clears throat> yeah, now there's that big story where like the AI beat the... the uh, F-16 pilot, right? Yeah, because that was the idea, was to scale it up, eventually put it in jets. Yeah. So I wonder if that's kind of this. Well, that's what I was saying earlier. Like, when, when they start to incorporate AI into these drones, it's going to get, it's going to, I mean, <clears throat> I don't know about you, but it took all of my little gray matter here to just control my jet. Can you imagine, like, doing your tactics and having to direct your loyal wingman and, um, it could get sporty, yeah. man. Well, hold on. So let's finish the article. Their their MQ twenty eight Ghost Bats is experimental aircraft to team up with the crewed aircraft. Get airman operational <laughs> experiment experience. Uh, that's how they would train to use them. The service wants to be cheap enough to could be. Depends on if you're in the Air Force or Navy. How you pronounce this? A tritable or a tritable? <laughs> a tritable. Because the <laughs> Navy, don't you all say a trite? Yeah, that's wrong. It's a trite. No, that's right. Attrition. It's not a trite. It's the, well, English, we, it's the Queen's English, just like I'll say oblique <clears throat> instead of oblique, but I digress. Tomato, tomato, whatever, man. Yeah. According to Kendall, uh, it'll be one quarter to one third the cost of an F-35, and there'll be 20 to 27 million. Dude, you remember when that was like the cost of a fighter? That's a big gamble to take with a $30 million plane. Uh, yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> they've, they've already uh, pitched several different concepts for CCA and acquisition. It takes several years. So uh, I have questions. Primarily, it, it, it's logistics, right? Because from a fighter pilot perspective, I think it's awesome. I think that I like the idea because to me, what do you want to do, right? You're, you're on a DCA, defensive counter air or OCA. You want to send the detonators. Well, send, the, send the dudes that are attritable or tritable, whichever. Let them <laughs> soak up the missiles and then you come in and save the day and you, you know, all the glory. <laughs> The problem is what happens when the other side has it, and that's all you're, you know, you're just standing off with loyal wingmen until it's just you again. Um, that's kind of my first question. But second, where do they come from? Do they launch like on drone runways with you? And do you then have to have drone runways at like Balad or, you know, the Deed or, or wherever you're coming out of? Or are they like dropped from your jet and then the wings open and then you launch them out? Like, how does it? How does that work, Anki? I don't know. I mean, from you know uh, a naval standpoint, you can only put so many flying machines on a five-acre aircraft carrier, <clears throat> right? So, um, the lo your, the logistic piece, which I actually haven't thought of till you brought that up, is actually seems like a pretty substantial hurdle now that I think about it. Well, I could see like a like for those of you that have watched my Ace Combat, I've learned a lot. My Ace Combat reviews, they had this big like airborne carrier thing, which is ridiculous. But let's say a B fifty two, right? Let's say you can put 
10 of them in a B-52 and you've got, you know, they drop and then the little wings pop out and okay, so you've just dropped 10 from the B-52. You've got a 10 ship of B-52s. There you go. Then they have to link up. My thing was what happens when they don't link up? Because you know the link never works, oh, right? Yeah. So it, you do, they'll be like flying off on their own and one's going to go, you know, back home. One's just going to run into you. Like, yeah. there's going to be, there's going to be some growing pains. <laughs> yeah. I, <laughs> I, you know, it depends on, obviously they're not going to go wild dingo day one, right? So the first, the, why not? The first, well, for the things that you just talked about. Yeah. Well, and I'm not like saying day PM. one of a conflict. I'm saying day one of actually oh, implementing using them. Yeah. Using loyal wingmen. Like they're not going to be like, all right, just turn this, you know, it, it's good. It trust us. <laughs> all right, boys. Good luck. Right. It's going to be, uh, <clears throat> you know, it's going to, there's going to be a lot of handcuffs. I, I don't, and I, I don't know, man. Part of me thinks like the whole B1 idea was just like, hundreds of AMRAMs or longer range missiles is, is a better plan for day one, you know, just to, <laughs> well, let's go back to, I let's mean, go back to the, the logistics thing, right? It's things that they're not talking about. So they're 20 to $27 million a piece. Yeah, that's a so lot they're not piece. cheap, yeah. right? They're not like an air launch did, decoy or anything like that. I, I did the math for a thousand of them. That's a two with 10 zeros. Okay. That's a lot. <laughs> we don't know. We can't do that kind of math in public. No, exactly. But my my question is, dude, let's say let's say we go with a hundred of them, right? Well, once they're done, and let's say we didn't trit the, all of them, <laughs> where, where do they go? Can you imagine? Like, dude, Eglin used to get bombarded with ten oh, jets, yeah. and it was like the world was collapsing. Can you imagine a deployed location <laughs> trying to recover a hundred drones that aren't talking? Or they are talking, but they're like, there's a lot of logistics with that many other flying objects in a, in the same piece of sky. Yeah, and I mean, how long does it take to recover that many, uh, you know, yeah. unmanned flying machines? Well, and then, let's go then back you have to, to plan our the fuel, article. right? I mean, let's go back to our previous article. Now we take Mover and Gonky LTD Inc. and we we make them hover. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> <laughs> they have to be able to vertically take off and land oh, dude. so that they can it's think, it's our proposal now we're combining our contracts well now we need another 10 mil per copy because you want stealth and hover i mean these are yes. expensive options to have on your flying machine well and ea so now the thing's got to have a, <laughs> a drone pod and if you want it to have missiles i mean dude now the thing's just a fighter yeah and that's just it man these like like the the it's not going to be 20 when they say 20 to 27 million dollars a copy it's going to be yeah. like 50 million a copy yeah yeah easy I'm get 10 of them right <laughs> it's like what do we do with these things you know i, mean, I don't you know, know. I, I, I i i conceptually i think it's cool because especially with a very smart platform like the f15ex or the f35 where you can be the the quarterback and, you know, you can send these dudes down range. You can have them doing their Tron thing and soaking up missiles and, you know, all that stuff. I love the idea. But then I think logistically, I'm like, okay, well, that's a lot of, it's a lot of iron in the sky, you know, composites, plastics, whatever it's going to be. And how do you get it there? How do you get it back? And how do you reuse it? Otherwise, we're spending $50 million on something that are $27 million on something that's you know, a one-time use only. Yeah. And, you know, if you go up against, you know, a, you know, if you go up against a, a, a um, <clears throat> let's say the first wave of the enemies is all like MiG 21s. So cool. You know, you're, you're, you're launching your 30 or $40 million drones to go attack, you know, the MiG 17s, yeah. North Korea's fleet of yeah. MiG 15s are coming yeah. over the, the DMZ. Yeah. And some of them are getting smoked. I mean, it's, well, I, and then in this world of electronic warfare and cyber warfare, yeah. dude, what happens when the link's down? Or you know, what if they develop one of these microwave weapons? Yeah. Well, I understand that. I mean, yes, you know, they're either going to get shot down by microwave weapons or mm -hmm. missiles or whatever, but what happens when they're hacked? And, you know, now they're either turned against us or, you know, the link is hacked. Like, I understand you can have high levels of encryption and, and all this stuff can happen. 
I'm just saying that we are in removing the man because right, they're autonomous. They're not like what we currently do with like the Reapers and, and, and all that stuff, which do have autonomous features, but we're taking the man machine interface out of it where it's just a, you know, you task it and then it goes, copy that, see you later. And you just hope it works. You hope that it does what you asked it to do. And you know, it doesn't somehow get malicious code or it doesn't have some, didn't they make a movie about this? Yeah. With Jessica Biel uh, and uh, Tyrese, right? <clears throat> I don't remember anything but that no. part. Yeah. Right. Yeah. What if it grows a conscience? What if it, <laughs> which if, it, I don't know, man, I've been listening to some of this AI stuff <clears throat> and it's scary. <laughs> uh, the last thing I would want is for them to have their own little fighter plane, but I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I, don't know. I mean, these are just questions. Uh, yeah. And here's, know. dude, here's the thought. I mean, who's controlling them? Like I, 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 I mean, it's the F-35s. It's, you are the quarterback for <laughs> these things. It wouldn't be better for the AWACS? You want an AWAC guy to control the air picture? I don't know. Not the air picture, but the little disposable minions? Sure. What do I care? <laughs> <Well>. <laughs> you know? You can I mean, still have some, Global SA, you know, because you're you're tied into what's going on. But <clears> to, <throat> to some degree, I mean, I don't think it's a huge deal for, you know, the F-35 guy, right? Because it's, it's almost like... Because what are you doing when you launch a missile? You're sending an autonomous drone to go kill somebody. You know, you're you're tasking it with, hey, that's the dude that needs to die. Go do that. Now, it's only one task. And it's, you know, it's giving you information the same time. But to a lesser extent, you know, now it's just, okay, hey, drone number four, I want you to go out 20 miles, tron this, turn around and come back. You know, I mean, you can still, you're still tasking, you're still the quarterback. And it, what it does though, is it makes the, your tactics almost infinite, right? Because now you've got what you're doing with your four ship, what your autonomous drones are doing, oh, dude. all that stuff. I mean, dude, your you're time better than me. Just, just gone up to, <laughs> um, I'm going to need a, I'm going to need a Wizzo. <laughs> dude.